Hi everyone and welcome back to part two in this Robin tutorial series. If you've not seen part one I'll link it down below along with everything that you need to know, the reference photo, the line drawing, the coloured pencils that I'm using, the sharpener, everything. Everything you need to know will be listed down below. So without further ado let's just carry on with this drawing. Okay so I think I might do a little bit more work around the head and I'm going to carry on bringing the base colour down here. So I'm going to use that cold grey one because if you look really closely at the reference picture, yes the feathers are really brown and kind of warm but there's some little bits of blue poking out in between so at least by having the cold uh, base down it'll be easy to show that poking through and we'll just work on top of it with like the brown and stuff. So I'm just getting rid of those lines and oh I need a piece of tracing paper for my hand. There we go. And I'm going to carry on bringing that base down the side and I kind of wanted to smooth out that edge there a little bit too. I think that is where I need to do a bit more around the edge like that and I'm just going to bring it over this area just for a nice little base coat Thank you for all the um, positive comments about the Robin tutorial I think everyone must love Robins <laughs> they're beautiful though to be fair and it's nice to draw something different. I've not done a bird before, so... Oh, I hate it when it does that. Why does it go all liney sometimes? I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little dark line there. I'm just going to bring it. I'm not going to take it too far, because I do like to work in small sections. I'll leave it at that for now. And... There's definitely some more pink that I've not quite managed to add into this. So I'm using the beige red and I'm just going to start trying to like work a bit of that pink in there. I think that is what is missing. Just going to bring it all the way around the edge of the head. I think sometimes like when you come away from a drawing and go back to it with fresh eyes it's the best way of doing it because I've seen now colours that I didn't see last time. So that is always a good tip if you're struggling, go away for a day or so or even a few hours like take a few, take some time away from the drawing and see what you can see when you come back. So I'm just bringing that beige red just sort of blending it into that cold grey one a little bit like that there we go and I think I'll try a little bit of the Museum Aquarelle White Pencil from Karen Dash and I'm just gonna do what we did in part one and just kind of like blend it in with that white so it's a little bit more of like a pale creamy colour <coughs> So I think now, hmm, do I add a bit to the top? Let's try it. I'm going to sort of do some little strokes just to try and blend it all together. Do 
just doing some little like feather strokes and do you see how it just sort of blends it nicely? I think it did need a little bit more white in this area. There we go. And I'll just add a little bit through this blue bit just to try and blend that in a little bit more. It wasn't until I looked back at the video when I was editing it that I was like, I feel like this doesn't look like the picture. <laughs> but when you're doing something like this, like wildlife or, you know where it's not a commission, it doesn't matter too much if it's not absolutely perfect. As long as it looks realistic and the proportions are right, it doesn't matter if the colours are in a slightly different place, but it still looks realistic and that's the main thing. I don't think I've ever drawn something and got it like 100% right anyway. Right, I think that looks good. I'm going to use now sky blue and I'm going to start bringing this blue bit down. So like we did in the first one, I'm just going to do little strokes, almost like I'm drawing fur and just carry on bringing that blue bit down. Just press in really lightly, just sort of tapping that colour and dragging it down. Add a tiny bit more to the top of the head. A little bit more in here. There we go. And I'm going to carry on just bringing it down, bringing it down. And I bring it to about here. Right. Mm, maybe a little bit more actually. I think I'm going to start trying to add some of this brownie colour in and I'm going to use a nougat there we go right so when you're drawing feathers I think the main thing to think about is you don't need to get every single little line detail in there so if you look at the picture there's kind of like some lines going down this way some going that way where you can see all the feather detailing. You don't need to draw every single last little bit of it. It just needs to be enough so that you can tell this detail without it taking you forever. So I'm going to start just bringing the colour down like this. Again, kind of like I'm drawing fur. bringing it down in this direction because this is the direction that the feather detail is going in there. You want to be looking for those little lines in the feathers and which direction they're going. That is one of the main things. So it kind of like comes down like this. And it starts coming down this way. I feel like 
I might need a bit more pink in there. I'm just going to bring that pink with the beige red just down a little bit more. See how that looks. I'll carry on with the nougat. Just bringing it down in the direction of those feathers. Just going over and over till it's nice and blended. And I'm going to gradually bring it out to the edge. And then I'm going to bring it around this side, kind of like in this direction. Just going over and over. Then carry on bringing it in this downwards direction. It's all about changing directions with feathers really. And then we'll add some detail on top in a bit. So I'm just gonna carry on mapping in this colour. like that and it just ever so slightly starts building the colour up and gives us something to work on top of. then here it's, the feathers are a bit more exposed underneath so it's a lot bluer. I'm going to use that sky blue again and just start picking out some colour with that. Just so it's peeking through a little bit there. Very subtle, and then I'm going to go back over with the nougat just so it's more blended together. And it just looks like that little bit of blue is peeking out from underneath the feathers. I'm just sort of going around that blue bit so that you can just about see it. And I might even add a little bit, just kind of really lightly add a bit down this left side. It's kind of like a combination of blue and pink. So I'm just going to gradually build it up till it looks like the right colour. Oh, and I'm going to use some of that white again. And I'm just sort of going to blend from the left hand edge into the feathers we've just started on. So it looks nice and soft. Okay. 
and I kind of want to blend it up more into this blue too. I think this technique's called burnishing. Where you're sort of working on top of what you've done with a lighter pencil to blend it together. It's really handy for like really soft light areas like this. go and I might just add a little bit of I'm gonna try a bit of that violet again um, I think it just needs a slight more purpley tone and I might end up burnishing it out with the white again but we'll see just gonna add a few little flecks of this purple. I would like to use like a luminance um, sepia 10% or something but I want to, ch I'm trying to keep the tutorials a bit more simple and not use loads and loads of different pencils because I'm aware that not everyone has like a, a massive collection of pencils like I do. So I want to keep it simple and not use too many different ones. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. Just around that left side. I might add a bit more to the head, you know. Just ever so slightly. A little bit of that color. I'm just gonna start adding some more nougat on top this area. I might end up having to add a little bit of white on top of this bit to be honest, you know just to like blur it in a bit because it looks quite grainy. I find nougat is quite a grainy pencil. Right, let's try that. Let's try adding a little bit of white on top. Just to blur it all in. It's honestly like such a hard um, colour combination to achieve on a robin. So, so many different little colours poking through. Like purples, blues. And no, I have, this is the third robin picture that I've tried to draw. And none of them have been the exact same colours. <laughs> So, it's like a completely new colour palette every time. There we go. I think that looks good though. It's sort of getting that soft look to the feathers. I don't use this technique every time I draw something. So, it's just more like... When you're drawing something with really pale colours. I'm just going to add a bit more white to the top of the head, you know. This is such a good white. I think that is looking a lot better. I think I'm going to try and use some um, warm grey. Mm. 
I'm going to try and use some warm grey 5 now and I want to try and start picking out a little bit of the feather detailing but this might not be dark enough, I don't know, it's one of them, you don't know till you try it. So I'm going to start just adding some little line details, sort of just trying to imitate the feathers a little bit. You don't want to go too crazy with it. But I'm just going to add a little bit. Okay, I think this might be the right colour, you know. I'm just going to start building up the detail. It's not really like a clear method to doing this. You just want to be drawing lines in the directions of those little darker lines you can see in the reference. So for example here, they sort of like come down. Make sure your pencil's nice and sharp for this. Come down like this. And There's a few slightly darker bits there, so I'm just going to add a few thicker, darker bits. Just gradually start building up a little bit more detail. Don't worry if it's not absolutely perfect, it's very confusing and don't matter, ugh, it doesn't matter if some of these lines like overlap a little bit. Sort of like, I don't know if, if you ever cross hatched before, but where you just draw in lines to start building up like detail and shading. It's not too dissimilar to doing that. starting to look good now that and I think I'm going to start bringing it down to here so I'm going to use that cold grey one again Ooh, smudged it quite a lot on this and just going to rub the lines out first clean up that smudged area that I've got Sorry if I don't seem to really know what I'm doing in this tutorial because I'm going to be straight up honest, I don't. I'm winging it. It's funny, winging it because I'm drawing a bird. But I'm winging it just as much as you probably are. So I think we'll get there though. I don't think we need to worry too much. So I'm going to use that cold grey one and bring it to about there so you see where the colour changes there it goes a bit more purpley I'm going to leave that bit for now and just focus on this area and I'm leaving this bit where it starts to go really detailed where this wing is and I'm just going to bring it down down to about here ok 
like that. And now um, I'm going to carry on with the, actually let's add a bit of beige red first. A bit of beige red down this left side like we did further up. Make it nice and pinky toned. It does get quite a bit pinker at the bottom actually. I'm just going to blend that into the cold grey one. And work a bit of that white on top. Definitely a lot of white in this tutorial. There we go. And I'm going to carry on bringing the nougat down. So I'm just going to follow that direction again. Just take your time. It is quite confusing following the direction of the feathers, so don't like, don't rush. If you need to pause this video at any point, just go for it. There's no rush at all. It's not a race. And I'm going to bring it down this way. And then here it gets a bit confusing. But I'm just going to come down. like that and again using that white just to sort of blend all that in I think we could do with a little bit more purple down that left side just before I go any further. So I'm going to use that violet and I'm just going to add a little bit. Over the left and then blend it in with the white. blending the rest of it in. I might just need a bit more nougat. I'm just going to keep layering these colours until it's at a point that I'm happy. lot more brown here.
definitely a slightly different technique to drawing the um, animals with fur. Uh, I feel like no bird that I've drawn, no two birds have been like this exact same. All depends on the colours. I'm just going to use that white again just to blend, blend it out. Sort of where this lighter bit is poking through, I'm just adding some lines with this white. blend it all together. I think we could do with a bit of that purple through this little bit here, this light a bit. Just have a bit of it poking through. Just gonna glaze it over really lightly. Just like that. And let's see, is there a little bit little bit of purple through this bit that I'm just gonna really subtly add in. And use that white again. Just to blend it all out. You see how that's just creating like a really nice soft colour. Obviously there's not loads of detail in there yet but that'll come in time and I'm going to start using that warm grey five now actually just to pick out a little bit more detail in there. So here where the feathers are a bit darker I'm just going to add those add a line coming that way as well. Feathers all sort of like crisscross over one another, it's quite confusing. So I'm going to add some lines coming down like this. Then here, where this wing comes up like this, I'm just going to start adding some more of those lines so sort of like coming up from that wing and then let's see a few more coming down in this direction You just want to add enough detail without going too crazy. I'm going to start bringing some lines up, blending it up. And a few coming down here. start adding some into this bit. So 
we're just going over the ones that we made earlier just to make them a little bit more visible. And I'm going to start bringing them down here. And they come down this way. See how that's starting to give like an impression of feathers? There we go. It's starting to come together a bit now. Obviously I'm not getting every single little detail of feather in there but it's enough to make it look like this bird has got feathers. Right, now, do I bring that cold grey down a little bit more? I might bring it down slightly here. Just managed to get rid of all that detail there. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to draw that back in quite easily after. Um, so I'm going to use cold grey one actually and just bring it down here. And then I'm going to use the sky blue and just start adding the detail where the bluey purpley bit is. Then I think we'll go over the top of it with the violet and then it makes like a nice purple colour. I'm going to just bring that down a bit. Bring that blue around there. We're going to go over it with the white as well so that that'll blend it all together nicely. And I think we need a bit more nougat just so that I can see where the blue bit starts and the brown bit ends. Gonna add, gonna add a little bit of like an orangey colour into there. Um, let's see. I'm gonna use the dark chrome yellow, and can you see how here there's just like a little orangey bit where that feather's caught the sun? I'm just gonna try adding that there, and then go over that with the white just to like make it look more creamy probably not the right sort of colour but just adds that orangey tone it 
Now I'm just going to go over that orangey colour with the pink just to make it look a bit more like a, a sort of creamy colour. I'm just going to go over it with the white again. Just like that. It doesn't stand out loads, but just try a bit more of that orange on top. It's just subtle. And now I'm going to use some of that violet on top of this blue area. blend it in and I'm sort of leaving this middle bit light bringing it down Looks a bit ugly, but it's fine because we're going to blend it in with the white. So I'll start doing that now. Start blending it in with the white. First of all, I'm just going to sort of blend that middle bit in. And then start bringing it through this blue and purple section See how that's like a nice pastel-y, purpley, bluey colour now. It looks really nice and soft. Like that. And I think we just need to pick out a little bit more detail in there. So I'm going to use Cold Grey 5. And like we did with the warm grey five there, I'm just going to start picking out some feather detail. So it sort of like comes through this little section. These little lines. I'm just going to start bringing them down. Just like that. And then there's definitely some detail in here that I just want to add in. I think we could probably use a little bit more of the blue and purple through here. Add to that. I'm going to add the sky blue just slightly. <sighs> Over these areas. I love the colours in this robin, they're so like soft 
and nice. There we go. And I think I could do with bringing that yellow down on the right. So I'm going to use ivory and just start blending down into this right hand side. Bringing that base down slightly. Sort of like blending up into this bit. Just want to soften that up slightly. And then here, it's like quite pinky again. So I think I'm just going to add the tiniest bit of beige red. So I've like blend it into that bluer section. So I'm going to add a bit of cold grey, blend it together really really lightly and then use the white to sort of smoothen all of this bit together so it's nice and seamless And now I'm going to use a bit more nougat, I think. Start adding it in into this part of the feathers. And here, where this like, little orangey bit is, I'm just going to add a bit more of a defined edge. Just by pressing on a little bit harder there. Then I'm going to blend that up into that section. And I carry on bringing it down. bit more through, just want it to be a bit more browny coloured. I'm liking the look of this so far. Uh, now, let's bring this top bit down a little bit more. I might just move the camera down a bit. There we go. Now I'm going to add some more of the cold grey one into this top bit. So I'm literally just going to add it, so I'm leaving where this more detailed wing bit is, leaving that, I'm just sort of going around it. And I'm bringing that cold grey one just around there. And again with the beige red, very pinky round here, so I'm going to add that beige red over most of this section. A 
it's a bit messy at the minute, but we'll blend it in with the white now. And I'm going to blend this down a bit while I'm looking at it because it looks a bit messy. I don't know why it's smudged so much. I don't know if you can see, but it's all smudged around here. Might just have to add that um, feather detail in back in. I'm just going to blend all that down. There we go. And there is a little bit of purple, just through this bit. So I'm using violet, just bringing it down again. Like that, and I'm gonna use the white again to burnish it all out. want any of it to look too harsh but I'm happy with that now that'll do and I'm gonna carry on with the nougat around this part tell you what first let's clearly define that edge of the wing with the warm grey five I'm just gonna use it to make it clear where those feathers are that I don't lose them. There we go. And I'm going to start bringing that nougat over this section of the robin. It's quite like a big line there. So I'm just going to add that in. And just start bringing it like we did before, little strokes over this area. Paying close attention to the direction that the feathers are going in. Then here where it's a bit lighter, kind of just trying to leave that a bit more sparse. I'm just going to do the odd little line through that area and it gets a bit more brown as you go further down. And then bring it down 
till it starts to look a bit more nice and smooth. I'm actually so bad at explaining stuff, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. Starting to look better now. Um, and I'm just going to blend a bit more white into mostly like this middle part. Just going to sharpen it a bit. There we go. So I'm going to add some little white bits of detail just to pick out like here where there's like a few light lines between the feathers. I'm going to just try and pick this detail out a little bit. blend the nougat on top again. That could do with a sharpen too. And then I'm going to carry on adding some more nougat down here just to finish off this little area. And then a bit more white just to blend that bit together. Just like that. Um, I might just add a couple of little bits of the feathers here. So I'm just going to use the nougat and just start um, drawing them in. Hopefully you've not lost the feathers here with your pencil outline but I've managed to rub it out so I'm just going to add a couple of the little feathers in. So there's that one there. This probably isn't going to look exactly like the photo, but just want to be able to see. They never really might seem to go in the right place. Right, that one. It's about there. I'm literally just going around the edge of the feathers just so I can see where they are for now. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to use cold grey one just over this area and over these feathers but just leaving the right hand side a bit lighter just like that, a bit lighter there and I'm going to use some of the violet 
very purpley. And this left side of the feathers. So I'm just concentrating that, that left side. And again, on this one. I'm going to use that white just to blend that in a little bit more. Then it's kind of like a little white line. Oh, just snapped my pencil. Um, very, very subtle at the bottom of that feather. I'm just going to sort of add in. And it's very hard to see it, but I'm just going to add a bit of violet, but leave that little white bit. Can you see that tiny little white line? Just want that to be visible. And I'm going to use some dark sepia. And I know that's super dark, but just where it underneath that feather, it is very dark. So I'm literally just going to go under, sort of like from there. Down to there, just so that I can see where that feather ends on the edge. Might even be a bit too dark, that to be honest. A bit too harsh. Okay, that was far too dark. I'm going to use burnt umber instead. That's better. So I'm just using that to define that feather. It's just like a dark brown colour, but not as dark as dark sepia. I'm just gonna find this little one here and then there's like a little weird line coming down there that I'm just going to add in and then I'm going to define this one like that. They're not spot on like the picture but I think it looks alright. <laughs> a bit of shading just to darken these feathers up slightly. I'm going to use a nougat and just add that to this right hand side, this larger feather. Sort of leaving that right hand side lighter. And I'm going to add a bit of beige red where I've left it there. Make it look a bit pinker. A bit more beige red there. Like that, and I'm just going to use the burn umber and just add a little line there. 
just to indicate where those feathers are going to go. This is where it gets really confusing now. <laughs> and I'm going to just draw in this little feather there. Just honestly, just take your time. Don't rush. Don't panic if you miss anything. And a little line there. Just so I can see where those feathers are going to go. And I'm going to use nougat. Just to go over a little bit. Sort of concentrating the shading the left side of the feathers so it looks like they're sat on top of each other. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just bring it down just so I can see where it ends. I'm just going to add a bit more nougat. I hope this is making some sort of sense really hard to explain. I think I'm just going to use a bit more white um, just to blend these feathers in a bit. Forget that white line, it's not a major detail. I just want to lighten them up a little bit. There we go. Right, do you know what? My head is confused and I need a break from this drawing now. So I'm going to leave it at that for this part and next time we will move on to this wing which is going to be like it's probably a full video on its own because that will take us a while. It's very confusing and we need to take our time with it. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. I hope you've enjoyed this part and hopefully you can see it's all starting to come together a little bit um and i'll see you in the next part so make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and i will catch you in the next part thank you bye